Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. As many of you have requested, I'm going to do a review on the Crawford Hiking Staff. Stay tuned. So I got this hiking staff several years ago from a good friend of mine named Tom. And uh, Tom, you know who you are, and you're a faithful watcher of my channel, and I appreciate that, and a good friend as well. But this is an amazing piece of machine work and it is hollow there's storage inside there's also some very unique features to this uh, there are a lot of accessories that you can get with this all the way from a basic to the complete model they are not cheap but they are made in the USA I believe they're made in Arizona I will put a link in the description box below to where you can get a Crawford hiking staff but I want to open this up and I want to show you what I carry inside I have basically a full survival kit as well as some other really, really unique items. All right, let's get to it. One of the first features about this that's really unique is the top unscrews. And inside, and this has a, a threaded section as well, there's a really nice knife. It's got knurling here on the handle. It's pretty sharp. You can sharpen it as much as you want. So that's a really neat idea. But this end is threaded as well. And what this is designed for is so that you can take this off and put that in your pocket. That's just a little plug. Screw this end onto it, like so, and then put this back in. And now we have a spear. So if I'm in the back country and I'm looking for some protection, I've got this excellent, excellent spear tip with a knife on it. It's really secured. And of course you could use this for hunting. There's all kinds of things you can use it for. Or if you're just in the woods and there's a lot of bears around and you want something to kind of keep dangerous animals at a length and uh, make sure that they can't hurt you, uh, this is just a fantastic thing to have in your personal little arsenal when you're hiking in the back country. And it's pretty tall, so you don't have to worry too much about it poking your eye because it is above your eye level. As you can see here, when you go into the back country, that's, that's pretty important. Of course, I keep this inside when I'm hiking. On the other end, we have a rubber tip, which we can remove. And then it has a nice solid piece of steel here with a bit of a point. It's not real sharp, but that's great for walking over rocks, things like that. This also unscrews. And in this end, we have a fish spear frog gig. And again, this is all threaded, so you can take this apart. Tip comes off, and it also screws into the end using, of course, this knurling that we use for the knife. It's a very same type function. It's all threaded to fit. So that goes on there. This screws on. And now, with this tip, when this pushes in, these blades deploy, like that. So once you stab it into the fish, and then you go to pull it out, it sticks in. And these have a slot in there, they fit in relatively flat. And this also rotates, so that if in case the fish flops, or the frog flops around, or whatever game you're hunting. And as you can see with the fish spear frog gig, uh, this is even taller than the other knife when it was on there as a spear. And uh, this is a fiberglass shaft also, by the way, so it is somewhat flexible. And of course, that's great for when you're hunting and gigging and a good way to get meat when you're in the back country. Now this does come apart right here as well. And this is just a bit of foam here to make it a little more comfortable when you're hiking. And I believe it is replaceable. But you unscrew that. And inside this, we have one, two, three plastic tubes, and then a small stainless steel tube. And this is what we have for our survival items. Okay, so in the first one here, 
we have six windproof, waterproof matches with the striker. And that, of course, will help them stay secure. It's also bright, so if you drop it, it's easy to find on the ground. The next item we have, pull the lid off, and then you have to reach inside here and pull this out. You can use the tip of the knife here to grab a hold of it. This is a couple of wound closure strips. So there's two of these. Also, about 10 feet of snare wire. A small bit of ferro rod. And then from 1950, there's a, a little catch here. And this is a knife that slides out. There's a catch here. Push down on it. It slides out. It's got a couple different locking positions. Push down again, all the way out, and it's a locking blade sliding knife. You can see right there, 1950. So that's a really cool little thing to have. In the next tube, and I like to put a bit of string in there, and what that does is that gives me something to grab a hold of, and it's tied down to the bottom, so I can pull this out. We have some duct tape and then a really small light. I usually keep these batteries backwards so that they don't run out, but I did turn them on. This is a little energizer and I did turn them around for this video. So it's a really nice bright little light. In the very bottom of the tube, I have a really nice, very small but accurate brass compass. In this tube, again I have my little string in there and you just tease it out using the knife or some other object. You could use a stick for this. It's got a little knot on the end so it makes it a little easier to get a hold of. And it's attached to the bottom so we just start pulling it out. And in this I have a couple of extra matches. Again, extra fire is always good. About 25 to 30 feet or so of fishing line. There are couple of tender quick fire tabs. That's what the string is tied to and stuffed down in the bottom. So I'll always have tinder with me. I also have 10 fish hooks, 7 swivels, and 10 sinkers for fishing. And last but not least, you can also get darts. The main body of this, since it's a hollow tube, is a dart gun. And you can get either practice darts, or hunting darts. How it works is you take the dart and there are threads of course inside and you push it in until it's just a little bit past the threading. This is how long the main hollow part is of the shaft for the walking stick that is the blowgun section and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to shoot it either. And here are all the items laid out and of course carry all this inside the staff with the exception of the blowgun darts which we would of course carry in a separate bag uh, there's just not room for all of them with the rest of the survival gear although if you use it just as a blowgun you could of course carry several in there if you wished alright so after we've got everything together it's a pretty simple matter just put everything back in the tube I like to put the metal one in first and that slides down on top of the fish spear frog gig and uh, that will help keep that from puncturing through the plastic and you can buy these little plastic containers from Crawford they also sell these and so one two and three and of course it just needs to be below the threads then of course we thread this back together and this is very very sturdy this is not gonna break on you this is American manufacturing machining at its finest screw that really tight and then the knife slays right down into the top of the handle, so we've already put the end cord back on. Tighten that in, and there we go. We have our hiking staff all together with our survival kit inside. Also in case any of you were wondering, this is fire cord. So this is paracord that has the 
red waxed line inside of it for extra fire tinder. And to use this, the easiest way for a hiking staff is to put your hand through this way, come across like this so that it wraps across your hand and then you can grab this section. So again, you just come up through the bottom, wrap around like this, and then onto the staff, just like that. So this is really great to travel with because it's relatively short. Now you do have to be careful that you don't dump any of your survival stuff out uh, when you pack this. But other than that, it breaks down into two large pieces and uh, to put them beside your backpack and your trunk or you know somewhere in your car and then again just easily screws together very quickly to form a really strong and sturdy hiking staff. To go downhill you just grip it up toward the top and, uh, and of course normally again as I showed you you just wrap your hand in and off you go. I really like the Crawford Survival Staff. I think it's an amazing piece of outdoor gear and if you can afford to get one I'd highly recommend it. Now of course like anything that's machined and made well here in the United States it's not cheap. And so if you're going to get one of these, it's a serious investment, but it's a lifetime investment. I've had this one for probably six years or more, maybe seven years now. And uh, Tom had it for I don't know how long before I got it. And then uh, they've been around for quite a while. But uh, again, it's something that you want to buy. It's very sturdy and it's going to last you a long time. It gives you a little peace of mind. Just have that extra gear. You just grab it when you're getting ready to go out and take a walk or go on a hike. And uh, you know you've got a few things with you to help you survive if that need should arise. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our facility in Southern Ohio. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.